What's up guys, Dino Death Milk here. Pretty excited, it's rare I buy a toy anymore, most of the ARs, and as you know, we build our own, so I rarely ever buy guns anymore. However, something came out recently that got my attention, I just kinda had to have, and that is the new super sexy Breda M9 A4. So, what's so fancy about the A4, you may ask? Oh, what's this? That is a cutout for a red dot optic. Um, I don't have the plate yet. I have to send it to Greta. They'll send me the plate for what optic I have. Just picked up a Church Count RMR. But now thinner grips, cut for an RMR, better trigger, and threaded barrel. Now with that, it's kind of a funky looking barrel. This isn't a barrel. This is a new device, the cam lock system from Griffin Armament. So I can run my Silencer Co. Omega 9K Instead of having to stand there and spend 10 minutes threading on my suppressor, I'm lazy. I like to be fast. So with this system, drop on, twist, that's it. Off, twist, off. It's fucking awesome. This system is solid as shit. I'm pretty excited to use it. And uh, just wanted to do a quick review. This is a brand new pistol. Breda just released this like a month ago. Um, this is one of the first shipments. I was lucky enough to snag one up right off the bat. Got my fancy uh, Surefire X300 and FDE to match. And of course, I had to get an FDE RMR. So, some cool features with this. It's got a lot of your standard Red M9. Standard mag release, uh, 18 round capacity magazine. Uh, decock on the safety. Still has a frame safety, or a, I'm sorry, a slide safety. I know a lot of people want a frame safety. I kind of like this. Um, I'm not a huge safety guy, but it's there. It's pretty cool to have the decocker right there. Never had a decocker, and it's ambient as well. Um, the trigger, significantly better than what I'm used to with a, uh, fuck, M9A1. Uh, real smooth, real smooth. Double action is exactly what you'd expect, probably eight pound double action trigger, but single action only is actually beautiful, short, crisp. And if you can see the reset on here, right there, that's a fantastic reset. It's actually better than my Glock. Um, I'll admit it's, yeah, this is the first time ever I've owned a metal frame gun. So be a little bit of an experience, but this is kind of a multifaceted review. Review the new Breda A4, um, the Griffin connector, and the Silencer Co. Omega 9K. Uh, a little bit about this suppressor before we go further. This suppressor, 4.7 inches long. It's one of the shortest suppressors out there. Pretty close to the same size as Wit. A little bit longer than Wit machine suppressors. However, this is only 7.2 ounces, light as fuck. And because it's 9 mil, it can shoot 300 blackouts. Whoop de doo, most nine millimeter suppressors can. However, this is one of the only ones I'm aware of that with 300 blackout, I can shoot subs and supersonic. Not many are rated for supersonic. So pretty cool. Again, I got it because it's stupid light. It's very short, but it's still surprisingly quiet. I ran it on my uh, Glock 19 and I was blown away by how quiet it is. So I'm really intrigued to see what it's like with this Breda M9. I couldn't find my subsonic ammo. I have some somewhere, I believe 150, 155 grain that I had loaded. So we'll try that later on. Not sure how else we'll sell it with subs, but I'm looking forward to seeing how quiet it is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move into the uh, live fire bay, right next door as you can hear. And we'll uh, cycle some rounds. I'll let you know how this shoots and you'll hear how the can goes. So follow me over there, fuckers. All right, ready? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> All right, guys, we're out on the range here at Ultimate Defense, our go-to place for doing videos. And uh, one thing I remember that I hate about this gun, I fucking hate loading these mags with the little way they load. I'm a Glock guy. I'm used to loading Glock mags. I forgot how much I hate loading metal magazines. My fingers will hurt after one box of ammo. We'll get a few in here and uh, the one downfall, I don't know why Breda didn't do this. Breda, if you're listening, why the fuck did you make a threaded barrel RMR-ready pistol and not 
put suppressor height sights on it. So uh, as you can see, my shots from a whopping three yards away were dead on. Now, here is super plate. I'll have an arm on and fuck it. batteries are many rounds that work. I can tell you this. I don't know how to sound on camera. This is quiet as fuck. And I'm kind of in love. Not believe I'm saying this. This is probably the best handgun trigger on any handgun I own, bar none. And as for recoil wise and actual shooting experience, this is fucking awesome. I cannot wait to get an RMR. This was worth every penny. Holy shit. Let's see, now again, I don't know how well the camera can see. You can't use your sights. The suppressor is in the way. So, I'm gonna bend that bottom one that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. That was a, uh, that was double action only. Four. Yeah, it's only seven fucking yards. Seven yards of not being able to use my sight. Yeah. Let's uh, shoot a little bit more and then I know Chris is now itching to... Uh... Okay, we will try 50 yards. No sir. The real attest of a man. How do my... Let's go for uh, headshots. 15 yards, no sir. I'm starting to single action. Okay, so a little low. I gotta say, for 15 yards. No match with the suppressor on. First time firing this gun. Second magazine through, and that shot placement with no sights at 15. That's not shot. That's not bad. That's great, but I mean, he's got one war. And then the rest in the upper chest and the throat, so we can't talk about gurgling blood. I'll take it. I'll take it. I take the can off now, but nope, I'm not gonna take the can off now. We'll just call it good. We'll do a uh, after action and a follow up here shortly once I get my uh, RMR plate from Breda and have that bitch mounted. We'll do another range trip, talk about it a little further. I just want to give you guys a little bit of teaser, get some content out because I wanted to do this now because as of yesterday, I noticed there was like one video of someone shooting at some range, not really doing anything with the Breda M9A4. There's not shit on it. So I wanted to be one of the first ones to get some content out there again. Meta M9 A4, brand new, came out. Two thumbs up, favorite handgun right now, hands down. And I'll tell you, I'm honestly a Breda hater. We had the M9A1 in service. I fucking hated it. That was the worst gun I ever fired. And I could not hit the broad side of a barn. Five feet away, I'd be lucky to hit a building. This, on the other hand, is a beautiful piece of machinery, and I am fucking in love. It was worth every penny. That setup with the RMR is going to be my nightstand gun now. Two thumbs up. Stay tuned for more, shitheads. Peace out, fuckers.